A 4-3 win for the Blackhawks last night against their rival, at least in the thousands, the Vancouver Canucks. Uh, many people have called me a homer through Twitter, so I've decided to say fuck you guys and wear a Blackhawks shirt. So, okay, let's be a little objective here. They won against Vancouver 4-3 last night in a shootout. Andrew Shaw was the winning shootout goal. Uh, they are now on pace to set an NHL record. They have matched that for consecutive games with a point to start the season. Uh, in 16 games, they have an NHL best 29 points. However, there was a play last night where the puck was floated in the air uh, in the neutral zone, and Marion Hossa took a forearm to the back of the head from Yannick Hansen. Now, uh, we're going to try and show this without picking up a copy. Copyright strike. So, uh, let's show it really quickly. We'll get my opinion and Detroit Red Wings fan Amir Nakui, our director's opinion. Let's see it. Okay, so as you watch that, not only as you know, a supporter of Chicago sports, but as a hockey fan, you know that Marion Hossa is coming off a horrific injury where he laid on the ice for about 15 minutes last year in Chicago when Rafi Torres left his feet illegally and took uh, through his shoulder right into Hossa's jaw and he was concussed. Now with the lockout being what it is, he had more time to recover, which is great. But he has a huge impact on this Blackhawks team. Seeing him down again, in the same exact position of the ice where Torres threw his shoulder into him was scary. For, again, not just as a Blackhawks supporter, but as a hockey supporter. So uh, let's get a different opinion uh, on this matter. Amir, who is a huge Red Wings fan, we have put our swords down for this segment. Uh, Amir, lifelong Red Wings fan, big hockey fan. Uh, what did you see when you saw this? I mean, I just saw the ever increasing level of violence in NHL, but Hosa just got laid out right there. So you thought it was dirty? Oh, of course. You did? Yeah. Okay. Here's, here's my opinion on it. And I, I mean, I've watched this numerous times now. From what I saw, I'm still a little undecided, but I'm favoring, uh, surprisingly, a Canucks player, Yana Kansen. Here's my differing opinions in my own head. My feeling, Amir, is that when the puck was in the air, uh, Hosa decided to, obviously, you know, you're, you're not allowed to close it with, with your hand, but you're allowed to bat it down and, you know, throw it down right to you. When we saw that, you saw Hosa had position. And he may have gone up on his tippy toes, but he didn't, I don't, I don't believe Hosa left his feet. Now because of that, Hansen was behind him. The question is, did he see Hosa in front of him? I have to believe he did. However, it looked like it was the follow through and it was an inadvertent elbow that hit the back of Hosa's head. Now the question to many hockey fans is, knowing his history of injuries and his concussion history, uh, do you take that into account when you look at the follow through from Hansen. In my opinion, it wasn't intentional to hurt him because I think he only has two PIMs on the season, uh, possibly prior to this game. Uh, he does not go in the box a lot. How I relate it, it's kind of like basketball. If you have position for a rebound and a guy goes over your back, he knows that he's committing a foul. The question is, did, did he intentionally try to harm Hosa? My opinion, no. I actually don't think he did. He has a hearing with the NHL's Department of Player Safety, does uh, Yana Kansen today. What he was quoted as saying is, it's a hockey play and we bumped together a little hard and he goes down, I can't really do anything about that. We both go for the puck and we ran into each other. They didn't run into each other. <laughs> Obviously, we know how he uh, got hit last year. I think everybody in the hockey world knows that, but, but again, it's a hockey play. And when you go for a puck, you go for a puck. Then Chris Cook of the Chicago Tribune points out, Coyotes, Rafi Torres, April 2012, I felt it was a hockey play. Canucks is Yana Kansen, February 2013, it was a hockey play. This whole hockey play BS really needs to stop because it's not a way of justifying what happened. Again, I'm conflicted. I don't exactly know how I feel about this, but I'm on, you know, like if it was a seesaw, I'm sort of on the side of Yana Kansen. From what I've seen from Yana Kansen, he's not like this crazy, fighter like guy he's not like a john scott who's just gonna or a ben eager or, you know a, a thornton who's just gonna uh you know go after guys and drop the gloves 
Um, he just doesn't seem like that kind of player, so I'm going to side with Hansen, I believe, after watching it a few times. It was brutal, and it was bad, and you never like to see anything like that. But I suppose I think I'm going to side with Hansen.